Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So yeah, we're gonna do a cloud pour with some pigments. And well, actually, you know what? It's it's really more of a ring pour. I kind of wanted more of a ring pour style. So here are the colors, but again, they are always gonna be in the description box below. So I'm actually pouring out of a um, little measuring cup. So in the first color going in is um, Meteorite by this little pigment. I love this color. I, it's like a pewter. I don't know. It's gorgeous. Next is Payne's Gray by Creative Inspirations, which to me reminds me more of a Prussian blue. Next, I'm going to do my Vallejo Pearl Medium uh, Cloud Mix. Then that's going to be a Titanium Deep. Then that is Hammerhead by this little pigment. More of that Payne's Gray. More Cloud Mix. Titanium deep. So I think I put the rest of my Payne's Gray in here and then I believe I end with the Hammerhead, which is also an absolutely gorgeous pigment. And of course, my pigment mixes are all in the description box, box below as well. So yeah, um, I think I said it already, but this is an 18 inch round MDF board. And um, yeah, I didn't think you guys wanted to see me spreading out like a little pillow down there. And that pillow had so many bubbles in it. It, you know, came up in the end after I torched, um, after I poured the cup out. But yeah, so I was going in with a straight pour and then I really wanted to do more rings in this one. I wanted to have a little bit more of a, a tunnel effect. So, and twisting around a little bit. But yeah, I kinda, I didn't have too much of a plan with this one. I just knew I wanted to use these colors together. And I have to say, as much as like, you know, pouring from a spouted cup, you know, this is a, um, a measuring cup, you know, it can be great, but for me personally, I prefer to pour from a regular, like, solo cup, like a, just a plastic cup. I just, for some reason, I just like it better. Maybe I'm weird. Let me know if, if, if you like pouring from a spouted cup or more from just like a classic, you know, plastic cup. So yeah, I dropped a little blob of that titanium deep in there. So I got out my daughter tool and you just kind of push it in the paint and twist it and pull it up and it brings that paint, you know, that you don't want there, it brings it up. And then I took my little, um, just my little skewer tool and, you know, try to make something of it. Um, but out of the cup, I definitely liked the way this looked. I was a little concerned that, um, I used too many layers in my cup. So like the, um, the hammerhead, you know, that blue, silvery blue, you know, pigment. I thought, oh gosh, am I gonna lose it? It's definitely in the rings. It's definitely in there, but um, you don't see it as much as you do as the, the meteorite that's in the dead center. So um, yeah, so right now you guys, I, you know, I kind of went back and forth with this piece. I was like, do I love it? Do I not love it? You know, I put down a way too much flow extender. I don't know what I was thinking, but it's fine. I mean, all the paint I scraped up from my little fluid art co mat that's underneath there. I scraped it up and um, put it in the cup and it'll, it'll be reused as like a flow extender down the road. So, you know, as little waste as possible. But anyway, I'm going to be futzing with this thing. I'm going to be spinning it. I'm going to be tilting it. But um, yeah, just hang with me and I will be back at the end. I have um, stills of this as well as a dried video. So um, yeah, be right back.
Hey guys, thanks so much for sticking with me. If you did through all that, you know, I'm moving this around all over the spinner, just trying to pull certain areas off or stretch out that middle a little bit more. You know, I wasn't sure if I loved it at first because of um, all the skinny lines around the outside of the circle. So as you can see, I'm still playing with it, just pulling certain areas off, you know, letting them go off of this piece, but um, I thought, gosh, is it a little too wild looking? You know, I'm, you know, I, I, it's not like my normal pieces, but you know what? That's a good thing because I think when you pour those pieces that are not, you know, quite like your other pieces you've done, I mean, that that's, well, you know, that's fun, you know? So, um, but I love this col color combination. But um, yeah, I love the center. I love the center of this piece. To me, it's like, because that meteorite is in there near the center, you know, going towards the center, I almost want to call it like meteorite highway or something, you know, quirky like that. But um, yeah, as of right now, I love this piece. I think I spin it once more before the um, details video, but here are the details. Um, now, there are pigments in this. There's the hammerhead, which is a silvery, bluish, grayish color, which is stunning. And then there's also that meteorite, which is in the center. Now, because I use so many colors in my cup, the, um, that's my dog if you hear her, sorry, one of them. Um, stop it. <laughs> but, oh yeah, there's the meteorite. Oh, uh, but yeah, see all those little thin lines on the outside? There's definitely hammerhead in there. Um, so I'm excited to varnish this one in a few weeks because I'll be curious what it looks like. But um, the center, love the center of this piece. I love how it's just curved and curled in there. But um, you know, the more I've set with this piece, the more I like it. My husband actually really likes it. He's like, that's cool, you know? Um, because there is a little bit more, I don't want to say chaos going on, but there, it, it's, I feel like it sucks you in. I feel like there's nice depth to it, but, um, yeah, it's kind of has a little bit of a volatile element. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Here comes a close up. And then here is a video I literally just took of this. Um, the lighting's not the best. It's in front of my window. So it. I might have to lighten it up a little bit. Um, but you get the gist. This is how it dried. And it dried beautifully. And um, I'm super happy with it. I think uh, it definitely makes me feel things. I love the center. I love it so much. But anyway, let me know what you guys think. And um, yeah, thanks so much for hanging out with me. And you know, I just really appreciate your comments. And um, yeah, <laughs> I'm a dork. Anyway, thanks so much, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.